for Peter, there's only one place to start, and that's the good news that our fans are going to be able to return to the Hive, hopefully, by next Saturday. Yeah, obviously, it's a, it's a great game for them to come back to. Um, obviously, hopefully, we've got our little, purple, little sticky patch out of the way before they return. But it, it hasn't been the same without them, so obviously, it's been nice to, to actually get the news that they'll be allowed to come back in to the Hive, and we're looking forward to seeing them. It's been difficult for several teams, yourself included, but you've come in and the fans still haven't actually been able to see your team that you've assembled in the yeah. flesh. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it's the same for a lot of clubs. They've had, you know, lots of comings and goings for, for players and, di- and different aspects. We've had a few more than I think the most. Um, so, yeah, but, it, but it would, it'd be nice for them to come in and, and to see what the players are, put, are putting together and, and what we're trying to achieve. And like I said, I know results haven't been too clever over the last sort of week. Um, but, um, but we turned that around again with another good performance on Tuesday. And it'd be, but it'd just be nice to have that, that, you know, that vocal support there to, when things don't quite go our way. It's always nice to have that backing of the supporters. It seems to have lifted the spirits getting that, that point on the board and sort of ending the rot you can tell in the players. I'm sure you're seeing that in training in the last couple of days. Yeah, I mean, it's been even more. There's, they've had a bit more of a spring in their step. I mean, they still trained really well um, the last week. Um, but obviously results results weren't weren't ideal. Um, but as I said before, I still felt we were being punished for every little mistake we were making. And when you look at the stats, you know, that seems to go partial way for to proving that. But but it's a results based business and we want we want to get results as quick as we can and like I said, Tuesday's performance and result will be a will, would have been a big confidence booster for the players and, and they've again they've trained really well this week with an extra spring in their step. Small matter of a second round FA Cup tie against another League One opponent in MK Dons. I assume you'll want the boys to replicate the spirit they showed in round one. Yeah, I mean that's that's a given normally. You'd expect that from them uh, in every game. Um, so yeah, so but it's, it seems to be that the FA Cup seems to inspire people to to dream about that little bit of magic that, that comes with the FA Cup. And uh, and obviously we're now one game away from a third round draw. Um, but we got you know we got a really tough game ahead of us. Um, with MK Dons coming here on Sunday, um, but but the players will be ready and they'll be prepared. And, and again, it's about making sure that we take care of our own performances first, and then and then we'll see where we go from there. Some really experienced players. When you look at the MK Dons squad list in, in Cameron Jerome, etc., they've got players all over the pitch who've been there and done it. But a good chance for us to test ourselves against a team from higher opposition. Uh, yeah, of course. You always want to you know benchmark yourself against the better teams, um, and obviously we we came through with flying colours in the last FA Cup round um, and, and yeah I mean, MK Dons are probably a little bit similar to us in the fact they've had a quite a lot of changes this summer um, and they've brought in a pretty much a, a new group um, and they're still trying to find their feet as well so they've not had a particularly great start to the season but it's been steady away and, and, um, and it shows in their results as well so very similar to us so you know it could be the um, they've got lots of experience in their team it could be the battle of the, of the new teams and obviously you know, whoever wants it more will come out on top. The team as a whole seems to be, as we were saying, in high spirits. When I caught up with Dunny, he was so delighted to be back. I assume yeah. he got through his first game back all right? Yeah, everyone's fine. We've had a, we had a recovery day on Wednesday um, and then we had uh, a sort of semi-recovery day on Thursday, obviously uh, with the players that have obviously played so many games in such a short space of time. You need, we need to take care of them, especially with the with the injured ones or the ones that are coming back, um, and yeah, so we, you know, so now we've got obviously long-term absentees with um, Matt and, and Elliot. Obviously, Elliot's out for the season. Uh, Matt's going to be out a month or two, uh, and Xander, unfortunately, has, has torn his hamstring, and we're just waiting on a on a scan for him to to see how you know how long that's going to be. Um, but um, but yeah, but it's just nice to have the injured players back, and hopefully, in the next. Um, in the next week or two, we'll, we'll have Tyrone back and, and also Josh back, which will be nice as well to have them you know, back in the squad and, and back pushing for places. We are not look at one game at a time, obviously, but it's going to be a, a quick turnaround in the next seven days or so when you look at MK Don Sunday, then a long trip to Halifax on a Wednesday night and then Wildstone back at the Hive. But I assume that's sort of what the players want, to be playing back-to-back games. Uh, yeah, they do. I mean, I think they I certainly would rather be playing games and training. Obviously, Pushing this game back to a Sunday interrupts our preparations a little bit because obviously we've got less recovery time in between the games. So we play Sunday, recovery day Monday, a normal day to recover would be on the Tuesday, uh, like a half a recovery day. But obviously we can't really have that because we're going to have to be 
preparation and preparing for the game on Wednesday and then a full recovery day on the Thursday which only gives us one day to prepare for Saturday and obviously it's, and they're all big games but obviously it's a local derby at the weekend after the cup game so it would be you know you'd, you want as much preparation as you can so but we're just hoping that we can get through the next two or three games um, with a healthy squad um, and, and show some signs of improvement along the way and, and if we can do that we'll be in a, we'll be in a much better place come come the sort of two weeks two weekends time when hopefully our fans are back and, and we've given them a performance to, to you know to please them and send them home happy after the Woodstone game. Just lastly, you mentioned it there. How nice would it be to build a bit of momentum results-wise going into that first game back with the fans and have a real feel-good place as they return? Yeah, I mean, it's always been the case. We've always wanted to do that. We wanted to hit the ground running. Unfortunately, we didn't do that on the opening day. Uh, but we bounced back really well against Dagenham. Um, and then we've, we've, we didn't falter or stop and start. We just, we just sort of couldn't put a full 90 minutes together. But they showed good character, good spirit, and they've done that throughout. And it's been a real tough week, a real tough week physically and mentally for the players over the last, and for the staff over the last week, sort of Saturday to Saturday. Um, but they've come through that again, and they've come through and played a team who have been, scored lots of goals and been very open with their play on Tuesday and, and kept them to a minimum. And, and hopefully we can then put, transfer that performance into Sunday. And then obviously, go on from there and obviously it's I you know you'd like to get some momentum going whether it's whether the fans are coming in or not you'd want some momentum because you want them to to come in and be proud of their team and that's what we're always aim for